one more salt analysis the white crystalline salt have been given here and as you know the single salt right one cation and one anion so let's carry out and the analysis and find out what is the cation and what is the anion in our given salt you know right uh, that the, we start with the preliminary test and the preliminary test we carry out then we will carry out the group test for cation and then we will go to confirmatory test for cation then anion analysis and confirmatory test for anion so let's begin with the preliminary test in preliminary test as you know right the first thing is that your salt is a white crystalline substance and when it is white obviously copper plus 2 nickel plus 2 fe plus 2 fe plus 3 all those colored ions are absent ni plus 2 co plus 2 all ions are absent right so this uh, right uh, observation you can uh, definitely write uh, share uh, and inference you can write correct right? fine so any anything now then the you can check the order or the smell of the salt right here uh, you bring you can bring it near the nose right no uh, smell is observed Due to two types of smell we have talked about one is ammonical smell and one is right vinegar like smell so there is neither ammonical smell nor vinegar like smell so when it is ammonical smell what is the uh, what is the inference of the ions present the inference of the ion is NH4 plus Y right NH4 plus and when it is a uh, uh, when it is a vinegar like smell it is acetate ion so neither of this so color right when you write the color of the salt from that you write inference then you go to the order there is no order there is no smell you write the inference and then let us check the solubility of the salt right so for so checking the solubility we already have taken a test tube here and in this test tube we take a pinch of salt and we checking the solubility in water okay all right so it is taken salt in pinch of salt and then add distilled water okay Distilled water is added, and when you add distilled water, you get a clear transparent solution, which is uh, which says that the salt is completely soluble. As dissolved in water, it is a soluble salt. So, soluble salt by inference. What are the inferences? In soluble salt, nitrate ions may be present. Ammonium salt may be present. Right? These are simple or inferences you can write. Now, the one important one that is dry eating. Let's go for the dry eating test. Right. So, taking a pinch of salt in a absolutely dry test tube. Okay. Right? And then you need to use the test tube holder and let's go to the Bunsen burner, okay? And heat it and observe very carefully, right? Dry eating observations must be very carefully, it to be done, right? And very important thing, right? Please try to see that, uh, right? You are not hitting the test tube at one point, you know? Right? So otherwise it may crack. So we are hitting the test tube. There is some, right? Uh, what we can see here only the the droplets, right? Condensation of water droplets on the tip of the test tube, right? Let me show you nothing else uh, we can observe here. Is the water vapor is coming out here and you can see here the condensation of the water droplets. So what does indicate there is no any other gas or no any smell, right? We can observe here. So it is the condensation of water droplets, nothing more observation. So this indicates that right the hydrated salt the salt given to us is a hydrated salt there is no evaluation of gas so nothing more we can observe here so this is the preliminary test we observed what were they first uh, right we have to check the right color of the salt is a color right white one and make the inferences then you go to the right order any smell right there is no smell then you go to the right uh, uh, right uh, solubility test we did that and then the dry eating right so this completes our preliminary test Right now we are beginning with the group analysis right of the cation right. So let's start right. So group one as you know in group one what are the reagent dilute HCl. So let me first prepare the aqueous solution of the salt. Okay. We have made aqueous solution. Made. Okay. Transparent clear solution right. Clear aqueous solution and we will be adding here dilute HCl to this right for the group one for the group one test. Group one for group one, I have taken the aqueous solution, and in that right, we are adding dilute HCl. Okay? So group one, I have dilute HCl add here. You can look at this. There is no precipitate formation, right? No other observation here, right? So what we can inference, we can uh, what we inference we can make is that the group one is absent, right? So after the group one, let's go for the group two. So what is group two? Group two dilute HCl, right? And H2S, right? And before H2S we had HCl, right? And that you must be knowing a very important principle of salt analysis that is called common ion 
अच्छा तो ग्रुप वन वॉज एबसेंट राइट वी एडेड एच सी एल एंड नाउ वी आर गोइंग फॉर द ग्रुप टू राइट एज पर कॉमन आई एन इफेक्ट वी एडेड फर्स्ट एच सी एल एंड देन नाउ वी आर एडिंग एच टू एस सो एज यू नो दैट नॉर्मली वी यूज द हाइड्रोजन सल्फाइड गैस इन द लैब राइट हियर वॉट वी हैव डन वी हैव प्रिपेयर अ सेचुरेटेड सोल्यूशन ऑफ एच टू एस राइट सो दैट ऑल्सो वी कैन यूज एज एच टू एस गैस सप्लीमेंट फॉर एच टू एस गैस सो आई एम एडिंग एच टू एस एस गैस हियर एंड एच टू एस वाटर यू कैन से एंड इन दैट एच टू एस वाटर वी हैव राइट यू कैन हैव एच टू एस गैस इन डिसऑल्ट इन वाटर बट देर आर नो प्रेसिपिटेशन देर इज नो ऑब्जर्वेशन सो वी कैन बी राइट वी कैन से दैट ग्रुप टू इज एबसेंट राइट सो ग्रुप वन एबसेंट ग्रुप टू एबसेंट ठीक है नाउ वॉट वी कैन डू वी कैन गो फॉर द ग्रुप नंबर थ्री राइट डू यू नो वॉट आर द रिएजेंट्स फॉर ग्रुप नंबर थ्री वी हैव अमोनियम क्लोराइड एंड अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड ठीक है सो अगेन लेट्स प्रिपेयर द एक्वेज सोल्यूशन ऑफ द सॉल्ट ठीक है सो वी आर प्रिपेयरिंग एक्वेज सोल्यूशन ऑफ द सॉल्ट एंड इन दैट वन यू विल एड अमोनियम क्लोराइड एंड अमोनियम हाइड्रोक्साइड So group number three. Okay. So for group number three, we go we go to now the ammonium chloride. We have this ammonium chloride in the right salt form, solid ammonium chloride. We are adding a bit of it. Okay, in the test tube. Okay, ammonium chloride added. And after ammonium chloride, we are adding right uh, ammonium hydroxide. Okay. So ammonium chloride and then ammonium hydroxide. This for group three, cation, right? Yeah, right. Then yeah, a confirmation of group three, but uh, there are no precipitate. You can see, right? So what we can conclude from that that group three is also absent. So we added ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. No precipitation, and that indicates that group number three is also absent. But now in this group now for group number four, what we do? The same thing. NH four Cl, NH four O S, and then we have to add H two S, right? So in the same solution, right, which we prepared, I am adding H two S water. Okay, so H two S water is just like H two S gas. Again, you can see there are no observation, there is no precipitation, and then hence I can conclude that group number four is also absent. So we saw group number one, we added dilute H C L. Group number two, we added H C L and H two S. Nothing happened. Then we went to group number three, ammonium chloride and ammonium hydroxide. No precipitation, and then we added H two S in that. Again, there is no precipitation. So one, two, three, and four, all groups are absent. We have to move further, and I am taking the test tube, and we try for the group number five. So again, taking a pinch of salt, right? Pinch of salt taken. I am preparing the aqueous solution of the salt, right? Transparent aqueous solution must be needed for the precipitation reaction. So we have here, right? The transparent aqueous solution. Now, right? What are the reagents we are adding for group number five? Is ammonium chloride, right? Uh, pinch of Ammonium chloride is added here, and after ammonium chloride, we have to add ammonium hydroxide. Okay, ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide, right? And then we will be adding, right? Ammonium hydroxide, and then now we are adding ammonium carbonate. Okay, so we are adding some ammonium carbonate, right? And then we see what happens. Okay, I have added ammonium carbonate in that, and when we added ammonium carbonate, you can see, right? Right, there is a white precipitate. You know, precipitate formation can be easily seen here. Right, so this precipitate formation. What are the reagents added? Ammonium chloride, ammonium hydroxide, and then ammonium carbonate. Right, so they are added. White precipitates are formed. What this indicate? This indicates the presence of group number five. Right, so group number five is present. Okay, now we will go to the analysis of group number five. Okay, we have identified that our ion is present in group number five. So now we need to go to the inside the group five and carry out the analysis. Now group five, which ions are present? You know, we have barium, calcium, and strontium, right? Ba plus two, Sr plus two, and Cl plus two. Now all these uh, forms the white precipitate in the group five. So once we get the white precipitate in group five, it indicates right it, it can be any ion. Either it can be barium, calcium, or strontium. Now to analyze them all based on the solubility, we will check first the barium, right? Barium ion with potassium chromate. The reagent for barium ion is potassium chromate, ठीक है? Right? Uh, potassium chromate. And then, right? If barium ion is absent, then only we go further and we test for strontium. And for strontium, we are going to use the substance ammonium sulphate, right? So ammonium sulphate is the reagent for, right? क्या अपना strontium ion. And if barium and strontium both are absent, then we will test for the right uh, calcium ion. And for calcium ion, we'll use ammonium oxalate as the reagent. ठीक है? So these are the three reagent we use for the identification, uh, confirmation of the ion in the group number five. So let me begin with the uh, right. Uh, 
the right uh, taste of uh, for the barium first we do it for the barium so again i am preparing the aqueous solution of vg plus twine so just see that aqueous solution is ready in this aqueous solution we are adding potassium chromate theek okay? hai so in potassium chromate if we get let's see what we are going to get here is a clear solution i have clear solution in that and let's see what we get theek okay? hai so look at that right what we are getting right yellow precipitates we are getting you know yellowish right yellow is white precipitate we are getting and that clearly indicates right that the presence of barium ion so ba plus 2 ion is present and what are these precipitates they are the precipitate barium chromate right ba cro4 right so barium chromate we have got so once you get barium you don't have to go try for the strontium and calcium right so barium ion is confirmed here with potassium chromate and one more now let's move to right anion we have got the cation barium ion right we got the confirmatory test also and now we are moving for the anion now you remember in preliminary test we have not got any indication about the anion right so we have no idea what the anion is right so as per our right to our uh, we we are going for the dilute sulfuric acid test right so first in the first of all i am taking a pinch of salt in a test tube and we are going for dilute sulfuric acid test okay which ions we can get from here we can get carbonate we can get sulfite and you know, nitrite ions we can get so i am adding dilute sulfuric acid to the test tube and trying to see if there is any observation right no observation here we are finding here okay and maybe because of the barium you know you adding the sulfuric acid so what we white precipitates you are seeing that may be of the sulfate ion right so for minus so let's have some like right, heating we have added dilute sulfuric acid and let us heat the test tube for any observation right sometimes uh, right heating is required with dilute sulfuric acid also right not any observation no gas is coming out right Right. So no observations here, right? No vapors, no gas being coming out, right? So dilute sulfuric acid test, right, is not giving us any indication, and so we can conclude here, right? SO3 minus two ion, right? NO2 minus, है ना? And you have right, CO3 minus two ions are absent, right? Now we are going to the concentrated sulfuric acid test. This is very important. It can uh, give us the right uh, information about Cl minus, Br minus, I minus, NO3 minus. Right? All these ions we can get here. So let me take another test tube and uh, right, absolutely dry test tube we need. Right? Okay. Taking a dry test tube and a pinch of salt here and adding concentrated sulfuric acid. Okay. All right. And adding some uh, right, uh, let me add concentrated sulfuric acid. This is the dilute one. We have already checked it. Now we are adding, but let me take the test tube. Okay, yeah. test tube holder, and then let me add this concentrated sulfuric acid. And you can see concentrated right. There are right bubbles coming out, hey na? Let's see what kind of gas if we heat and what kind of gas is right we are getting here. and right. there were some right uh, right some vapors coming out let me try to check this vapors right i am using a rod theek okay? hai dipped in ammonium hydroxide theek okay? hai and like trying to see right what kind of vapors we are getting here theek okay? Can you see these white dense films, right? Ammonium hydroxide. I am using and try to see this, right? You can see the white dense film, है ना? I can even take the test tube near the right ammonium hydroxide bottle, and you can see the white dense film coming out, right? So what's happening here? Here might be this is the check, right? Check for the Cl minus ion. There must be right Cl minus radical. We added concentrated sulfuric acid, and then right HCl gas comes out with ammonia. It is giving us this. Dark white, the right fumes, right? Yeah, so right, dense white fumes we are getting here, and that this is the dense white fumes we are getting, and that indicates the presence of Cl minus ion. Okay, so this is a good check for right chloride ions, Cl minus ions. So what we did here exactly? We took the salt and we added concentrated H, uh, concentrated H2O, and we slightly heat it, right? And we check the gas which was coming out with the ammonium hydroxide. So I brought a rod dipped in ammonium hydroxide in front of it, and we got the dense white fumes that indicates the presence of Cl minus ion, right? Definitely because the gas which came out after adding sulfuric acid that was 
the gas was hydrogen chloride right hcl now you know the difference between hydride you know hcl is a gas right hydrogen chloride is a gas and when it is dissolved in water we call it hydrochloric acid right so this test confirms us the cl minus ion so cl minus ion we got from the concentrated sulfuric acid now let's do some more test and a confirmatory test about the cl minus ion okay so let me take a silver nitrate test i am doing for that i am taking a small right salt here small amount of salt adding uh, right uh, distilled water to it and making a clear solution right transparent clear solution and then adding agno3 to it okay adding silver nitrate to the solution now you can immediately see right precipitation and white precipitates are formed right you can see these are the precipitates indicating the presence of cl minus so in we are adding uh, we added agno3 right so on adding agno3 we are getting the white precipitate that indicates the presence of cl minus and this precipitates right uh, so in this precipitate let me add uh, right ammonium hydro we got cl minus right in our uh, concentrated sulfuric acid test and we are going for the right uh, this uh, silver nitrate test for that okay so i am preparing i am preparing a quick solution of the salt right quick solution of the salt i am preparing in this aqueous solution in this aqueous solution we are going to add some silver nitrate okay and check whether what happens right whether we are getting precipitate or not right you can see immediately right immediately we get the white precipitates of silver chloride and right? which indicates the presence of cl minus now one more thing we need to check right why what happens while adding the ammonium hydroxide right so i am adding ammonium hydroxide to this one and let's see what happens with ammonium hydroxide look at the precipitates right i am adding ammonium hydroxide and see what happens to the precipitate and most of the precipitates have dissolved right by adding ammonium hydroxide and what happens is you know it forms right uh, the complex right the silver chloride it forms the complex with ammonia ag nh3 twice plus right so a complex is formed and the precipitates dissolve right so silver chloride precipitates which are formed by adding ag no3 get dissolved by adding ammonium hydroxide right so by adding ammonium hydroxide the precipitate gets dissolved okay right? so this confirms the cl minus right test okay. once again and now i am doing one more confirmatory test for cl minus and for that please see take a dry test tube and in that we are adding some right taking some salt right take your uh, uh, right uh, test tube holder and add some manganese dioxide right i am adding a black powder of manganese dioxide to it okay i am adding manganese dioxide to this substance okay and in this manganese dioxide in this test we are adding concentrated sulfuric acid okay and now we want to heat this okay and let's see if any changes are there why the changes okay see so what we have taken we have taken salt we have added manganese dioxide and concentrated sulfuric acid okay? what we are doing we are again trying to have a performing a confirmatory test for chloride ion cl minus ion right so mno2 we are using mno2 concentrated sulfuric acid and Mm -hmm. You found out the cation as well as anion in the salt, right? So our right, given white crystalline salt, right, contains barium ion, Ba plus two, and we got the confirmation of chloride ion. Okay. So what was the what will be the formula of the salt? Barium chloride BaCl two, right? Barium chloride is the name, or BaCl two will be the formula. Okay. So we got Ba plus two ion, and we got chloride ion. So for chloride ion, please remember on adding concentrated H two S O four. and then you bring the right heat it as lightly and then bring the rod dip in ammonium hydroxide you will get white dense film and that indicates the presence of cl presence of cl minus and then you can come to the right silver nitrate test right white precipitates are formed and which are soluble in ammonium hydroxide right so these two things you can do right and uh, that's all so the our salt will be barium chloride okay thank you